So now that you learned that science is both production and also presentation, it's time to take a close look at the definition of science. What is science? What do you think science is? When you hear the word science, what comes to your mind? Please again take five minutes of your time and write down your thoughts on the notion of science. So science uh, basically is derived from the Latin word scientia, which is acquiring knowledge through observation and experimentation to describe and explain natural phenomena. Some people define science as learning about the world to produce useful model of reality. Science is a structured study of the universe. Science is a systematic and logical approach to discover how things in the universe work. And some people just uh, consider science as finding solutions for problems. So what cannot be considered science? Science is not just accumulation of facts. If we just gather facts and information, but if we are not able to apply that in reality, then we do not consider that as science. Science is not just intended to answer right and wrong questions. Those are for philosophy, ethics, and religion. And science is not supernatural or magical uh, data. We need to have real data which we could consider as science. Science. Is science induction or deduction? Actually, the oldest story of what scientists did was that so they passively observed the world, then they noticed some regularities, and then based on these regularities, they came up with some universal laws that explain these regularities. And then eventually they used these laws to predict future events. So that is induction. But induction isn't the only reliable road to real world knowledge. And there is no such thing as passive observation. And that is why now scientists mostly focus on deductive approaches to produce science. So in induction approach, normally we try to go from practice to theory or from specific to general. For example, we observe we find patterns, we make hypotheses, and based on this hypothesis, we come up with some theories. Whereas in deduction, which we go from general to specific or from theory to practice, we first build up our hypothesis on theories. And then we make observation to confirm or reject our hypothesis. And that is how we produce science. Examples of induction. For example, in this picture, you can see that uh, so there are some general patterns. So we start with two triangles, two pluses, then two pluses and two triangles, etc. And then you need to know what is the question mark. With the very simple brief look, you will see that you need to have a plus instead of question mark in this picture. In deduction, it's the other way around. Look at this picture. Then you need to yourself make some sort of story based on the deductive approach. For example, all men are mortal. Socrates is a man, so Socrates is mortal. It's a kind of deductive approach in our argumentation and scientific activities. So now that you know what is science, Think about the pseudoscience. Have you ever heard the word pseudoscience? If yes, what do you think it is? Please take five minutes of your time and reflect on this. And maybe you can also make some comparison in terms of similarities or differences between science and pseudoscience. Please write down your thoughts for about five minutes. So, pseudo basically means fake. So we uh, consider pseudoscience as a claim, belief, or practice presented as scientific, but does not adhere to scientific method. If we rely too much on confirmation rather than refutations, if we rely on unprovable claims, 
if there is lack of openness, lack of peer review, lack of systematic approach, we consider this science as pseudoscience. Here in this picture, you can see the differences between science and pseudoscience. For example, in science, we are willing to change our uh, ideas with the new evidence, whereas in pseudoscience, we only have fixed ideas. In science, we rely on peer review. In pseudoscience, we do not actually take into account the peer review. And you can see other differences as well, in which, for example, in science, we have accurate measurement, whereas in pseudoscience, we have ballpark measurement, which means that we just measure based on what we want to measure, and there is no specific systematic approach to measure specific phenomena. So make sure to avoid falling into characteristics of pseudoscience and only focus on characteristics of science when you write your master thesis, when you do experiments, and when you want to do something scientific. So there are also some definitions that I would like you to know uh, because these definitions are used quite a lot when we do scientific activities. For example, hypothesis is a guess or a possible explanation for an observed phenomenon. Theory is a conceptual framework that explains a variety of observation. So it's not a guess anymore, it's something real that have been confirmed. And paradigm is a set of theories that are in line with one another.